moving on to transitions um so this will be a quick breakdown of how we can fade from one song to the next um or have no transition at all so um since lion and the lamb is the first song um of the morning we'll need no transition whatsoever however between living hope and cornerstone i might want to crossfade or um auto link the two so i'm going to play you an example of what that looks like let's turn the volume up so on auto link what i'll do is i'll skip right to the end of the song that's where living hope finishes i'm sorry that's Lion and the lamb cool and then as it finishes off it'll immediately count into cornerstone. One, two. Okay, now the difference between that and overlap is that whilst the previous song is still finishing off, it'll automatically fade into the next song. One, two. So there you can hear as um, the last chords are still kind of sustaining um, it moves over onto the next song. So there's no real difference between crossfade and, and overlap, to be honest. It sounds the same. One, two. So the only difference I think there would be is if um, one song has kind of stops up abruptly or um, the next song has a very short introduction that uh, the two might um, might cross it, fade into each other. So um, that's a, an easy way of doing your transitions. Um, another way of, um, or just a, a, a helpful tip um, to test these things without having to listen through the whole song is to just skip forward on your timeline and double click or double tap on the section that you'd like to go to. And then you'd be able to see obviously how that works. Um, after cornerstone, we want we don't want any transition, so that's our no transition, um, and obviously the worship medley finishes it off. So uh, yeah, that's a quick one on how to um, cue your transitions. Um, something else to keep in mind um, that let's say for example, uh, as you transition into the next song, you feel like there's a worship moment, um, and you don't necessarily want to go into the next song. The best way of doing that is using this. Um, Kind of skateboard ramp looking button which is a which means it's it fades all of the instruments out but it will still leave the click and the the um guide vocal in there and um, so if you have have an md um a music director or someone else is is running it for you um it'll just be good to after once everything fades out to just pause it and go back to the beginning of cornerstone and then once um the spontaneous worship uh, or time of spontaneous worship comes to an end, um, you should be able to just start it up again. So I'm going to give you an example of what that looks like now. So it's fading into the next song. Two, and suddenly you decide, oh no, I really down, wanted to carry on two, with what we were doing. Three, four. And click on that. Intro. And you'll see it fades all of those, it pulls all of those faders down. You can then just stop it, go back to the beginning, and everything will be as it was. Cool, so um, just something that might be helpful if you want to continue um, with the time of spontaneous worship rather than fade right, it, right into the next track. Um, it will take a bit of getting used to, but um, it shouldn't be too bad. Cool, so that's the end of this session. We'll go over to the next one.